Uh, hi guys, welcome to my first ever wager on my channel and for the um, first ever wager I'll be doing a um, small wager compared to other people you might have on YouTube. It's only going to be 50k but considering I only have 150k in hand in this um, Serie A team is actually quite a lot to me. So actually 50k is actually quite a lot to me. So the person I'm going to be doing a wager against is uh, my good friend Josh. Um, he has a YouTube called TOJ and um, the link for that will be on the description. There will be like, a little annotation on the screen right about now. So, um, because my friend Josh, also known as TOJ's YouTube channel, is doesn't have a lot of money, um, if um, if I lose, I'll be giving him 50k. Um, if I lose, I'll, he'll be getting 50k. But um, if I win, he doesn't have to give me anything because he doesn't even have 50k. So it's so basically a one-way wager, which um, I've decided to do with him. So the team I'm going to be using as you can probably see on screen now is the Serie A team is pretty strong as you can see it's pretty sweaty as well it's got a bar by and Balotelli up front I'm um, pretty all rounded team um, Guardado is probably the weakest point in it I didn't really I was going to swap him out for the wager but I just didn't I didn't, couldn't be bothered um, so here we have a pretty solid defence as well El Chihuahua on the left and De Martin in the centre attacking mid so as soon as you see my team I think we um, go into the um, match now and I'll see you when I'm um, I'm in the um, match, so see ya. So guys, we're in the game now, as you can see, it's a pretty sweaty um, Belgium squad with Bentec and Lukaku up front, which is always dangerous, and with Fellaini, for Tongan and Vermeulen in the defensive areas, that's a pretty strong squad. His um, left mid and left mid right back and left back are probably the weakest points in his team, but as you can see, um, he likes a header if he has um, Lukaku and... Um, Benteke in the box because that's his main um, strategy of scoring goals. He likes to run down the wing. So as you can see, I go defensive in this first bit just to try and get my um, get myself into the game and warmed up in that. So as you can see, um, he threw balls it. He gets just straight away attacking the wings here, and luckily my um, centre back or right, I'm not sure what that was um, cleared it. So as you see, Diamante is on the break here, but Fellaini pushing him off the ball, making sure he didn't get through. And claims the ball over the through top balls to um one of um his players. I think it's Ben Teke, but he didn't um get it. So uh, fortunately, I played Balotelli offside there because I was trying to go for the break. I was, um my plan was for this game to go on the break and not like, try and counter attack, but normally that's not my game. So I had to change it up a bit. So here his defender makes a really stupid mistake, and I put he puts a bar both sort of for on goal, but a horrendous shot from me. Just I think he struck it on his left foot. I think, or it's weak for anyway. I don't know what foot he is, which makes a terrible shot. So, as you can see, I think he was on not just defensive. He didn't have any attackers up there. But Lukaku, I don't know what my goal is doing. I'm expecting him to um, automatically kick it. So he whips it in net, and um, Marchetti claims the ball. So that was quite a lucky um, escape from me, really. So as you can see, he's attacking the wings again with Ben Teke, just hoping he can whip it into Lukaku. He just misses the ball. It's really unlucky. He, if he got ahead on that, it'd definitely be a goal. And then Radu just um, clears the um, ball out of my area. So as you can see, El Chihuahua is a vital player for my team. He's always getting forward. The only um, thing is he's really weak. Um, on the other side, we have Guardado. You just see our bar by one. Mr. Chip there really should have been putting that over the goal. So on the other side, we have Guardado. I should have swapped him out. I really don't like him. He has like 60 something shooting, which is so bad. Um, but I just didn't have. Um, I forgot, and I didn't. Couldn't be bothered. So as you can see, um, I'm just passing it around here. The only good thing on Guardado is pace. So I always have to pull it onto someone, I never can have actually have a shot with him because he's just terrible when he does. So El Shuari breaking down the wing here, whips it in and then um, here you'll see the most luckiest goal I've like ever scored in FIFA. It's like really unlucky on his behalf. Um, as you can see from the replays that we'll show in a minute, you'll actually see the goal he didn't, he miscatched it. So look at that, he just miscatched it, punched the ball straight to Diamante's so slot in the bottom left corner. It was the most easiest goal. Um, I don't think I really deserved that to the up point because the game was really even. Maybe he was on top a bit more. So here I get more confident. I start playing. I went on to balance, I think, and then I um, started making a three balls over the top and actually getting some possession, more possession down. Start making more passes was really good. So here I break away with um, El Shari down the wing, try and cut in. 
is really good at doing cutting in and that but unfortunately my shot gets blocked it goes out for a corner which um are really deadly as I got the bar on Balotelli in their box so Steer Monte whipped in I was hoping I could get a header on it and then I'm um, just going to make a really good save and then a poor effort from Guardado with his 60 something shooting which I really shouldn't have had a shot with him there so as you can see he's um whips it in I clean up at the um centre back position and then I go on the break again with Balotelli um, I really should have um, put this away as you can see it goes straight into his cause to see his hands but there that brings half time so half time was pretty even maybe he had a bit of the upper hand he also had an unlucky um, goal con conceded as you can see I have a bit more possession but it really felt like he was on top more um, I don't see where I forgot got the seven shots from I should have been putting him away more but that one shot he did have was quite dangerous so going to the second half I'm on balanced again so here you see um, he's again just trying to get Lukaku through using his strength to get through and he really unlucky again he hits the um, left post here so that was really lucky for me for me so Diamante um, sets Barbo through here and I really should have again put that away and then that header again from thing, uh, I think it was um, I'm not sure who that was but you should have been putting that away so the amount of opportunities I've wasted in this game is quite bad so far so as you can see um, oh no this is the um, I can't believe I conceded that goal so basically what happened is I wasn't sure I had to press X and just completely smash it out of my centre back or pass it but in the end I couldn't pass it to my um my player on the left because Lukaku's strength was just too much and then um, of course Lukaku's going to strength him as he's the B stand I had no open and Lukaku was not going to miss that so it was 1-0 here I was getting um, pretty nervous he started getting more shots on target as you can see in my goal he pulls out a really good save there conceding the corner which I really did not need because of course he has the players in the box and then a lucky um, save from Marchetti there that could, header could have gone anywhere and as you can see, um, my players are nowhere in sight up front. He's on the attack, and then a pretty desperate shot. I'm not sure why he um, attempted a shot from there. From I think it was De Bruyne, another really good player he had on his team in the centre attacking mid position. So again, he's breaking down the wing. Again, he likes to play, and he cuts inside, um, cuts back, crosses it in, and then boom, it's two one to um Josh. Um, he really deserved it. He was playing really well, quite um. In the first stage of it, um, was it the second half? He really deserved to go two one up. So I was game on. I like to rethink my game. So I go straight, try and go for a straight run with Balotelli here. It doesn't really work. And then he has to um, pass it around. So here I uh, try and put Balotelli, Balotelli through, and then a Barbo just slots at home for two all is really another unfortunate goal for him to concede but oh well I'm going to take it it's two all so that's 77 minutes gone it's still anyone's game at two all it was a really even game at this point and yeah so we uh, are I started to get more shots on target here as I knew I, did, I didn't really want to go to extra time because it can be anyone so I try and run down the wing I uh, crossed it into Balotelli and then uh, another really unfortunate goal Josh concedes here and um, I just felt quite sorry for him because he really didn't deserve to be 3-2 um, down with the luck I had so as you can see in the replay it's another really um, really unlucky goal to concede so running down the wing Balotelli heads it comes off the crossbar yeah as you can see it's just really unlucky to concede a goal like that just comes back off. Um, he was nowhere near it. The goal. He was never going to get it. So that's three two in the first minute. Hopefully, it's still a lot of time for him to come back. So I was going to ultra defensive at this point, as you can see. He had a few shots, and then that's probably his best opportunity he had. It was a really good opportunity. It's like in the first half, he had an opportunity exactly like that, but just really unlucky. If he got ahead on that, it would have been a definite goal. So here, as he's ultra attacking, I'm ultra defensive. I get a break on Balotelli cut inside and I don't know why I go through the sweat I should have just powered it or finessed it into that um, corner of the right corner of the goal but here he goes on the attack again um, 
De Bruyne picks it up and then Morales tries and smashes it and then um, my goalie falls out of a corner now. 89th minute, bordering on 90th minute, I thought this was going to go in. Um, his goalie's up as well, so luckily my goalie catches it in my chair. I was so happy that he caught it. So as his goalie was out, I try to boot it out, try and get it to one of my players. And then um, that's how it actually ended. So a very lucky win for me. Um, normally I, I'll win against Josh, but that game he played really well. But fortunately I came out on top, fortunate for me. But yeah, so I get to keep my 50k. Got um, here's, So here's some of the match facts so I had. Um, so shots overall, he in the second half he performed much more better. As you can see, he had 10 shots, I had 14 shots. Um, possession just goes on my side, but overall really even game. Um, yeah, so if you go back to the um, FIFA Ultimate Team Hub, I'll see you back there. So, but so guys, I'm back in the FIFA Ultimate Team Hub now. As you can see by the match, um, I got to keep my 50k that I put in the line. So make sure you leave in the comments if you want me to do more wages or not, and then I might actually open them up to you guys. So comment if you might have a chance to wager against me it won't be a massive wager though because i don't get given coins for free like some over some other youtubers so but 50k means a lot to me guys so don't like comment like you wager so little because 50k is actually a lot to me so hope you enjoyed the um my first ever wager on my channel please give a like to show your support and subscribe for a lot more fifa content see you next video bye